interested, you got to be a little, little mental, I think, to do what I did. I, I, I don't want to like sound crazy, but you have to be a little fucked up in the fucking mindset of like getting up every day and pushing yourself and you're eating 12 to 16 ounces of meat and you know 100 to 150 grams of carbs every meal and you're doing that seven times and you do it day in day out you got to have a very simple mindset you know you can't be social you can't be out doing a lot of other activities so you put on the blinders and you have tunnel vision on what that ultimate goal is i was always on track with everything i mean i everything was structured i lived in a fucking box in order to be the best meaning i had no outside people would call me with their problems i'd hang up on like the phones were, were off don't bother me with negative shit and i just went at it like that's all i cared about like that was what my life was like there was it was like go full fucking throttle every day that discipline was there i always tell everyone it wasn't about the body it was about the mind at first but I train my ass off. I just love to train like that's that's what separated me from like most guys there was times where I almost passed out training I'm lunging with you know 225 on my back in the parking lot and I remember just like okay no one else is doing this so I'm gonna do it and that was my mindset that was how I like mind fucked everybody else so I used to train in the middle of the night because no one else was doing it and so people like man is that the secret is that what Jay has to do is that what we have to do and I did it almost to kind of like play mind games with the other guys. Only the crazy people come out this time. Cardio time. But I was also a beast. I was known as a, a so-called mass monster. I was also stubborn as hell, right? I mean, I, I just, I was told I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I was told I wouldn't be a good pro. I was told I'd never turn pro, never win the Olympia, never win it more than once. After I lost it, they said that I'd come back and win it again. So I think a lot of that's a little ego too. I mean, you have to have a little ego to be able to do what I do and be great at it. You gotta do what's your passion. Otherwise, you're never gonna succeed at it. You're never gonna stay with it. You're never gonna commit to it. And you're never gonna give your full a, a ability towards that goal. 